we're recording. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> How are you? I am doing really good. How are That's you? Good. I'm okay. I have to be honest. I'm experiencing a little anxiety right now. I know yeah. I told you this before, like I'm really good at masking. Well, at least yes. I think I'm good yes. at masking it. No, you know, are. You I'll are. There, there like, are times... I was going to say there are times yeah. like you'll tell me what you're going through. And in yeah. the words of Julia, you don't look like what you've been going mm -hmm. through. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. 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 But I do have some anxiety and I'm learning to take more mental notes of yeah. when I'm experiencing anxiety and stuff because I want to be able to express it, you know, to my yeah. therapist and stuff and not just be like, oh, yeah, I'll be anxious. And then have you tried journaling? And like using your journal to check in or just have a journal dedicated just for Not, therapy I notes. do. I do yeah. have a, a journal dedicated but I don't, I'm not consistent with it. Yeah. No, I, I, I need I to get, get better. It. I get it. I need to get better I, so with that. here's the thing. Like, you know, that's the story of my life. Like I'll start something, start something, start something, mm -hmm. stop. But um, I'm trying to like show up for myself more and just, yeah, um, no. you know, just be more accountable. Yeah, and absolutely. I don't, I'm learning not to agree to if I don't feel 100% like, yeah, I'm into this. Let's do it. I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to flake on somebody yeah. or go into those bad habits. So, right. Uh it's Caleb. Hold on one second. Aww. He's knocking at the door. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, while Cece goes and check on little cute Caleb, um, another suggestion, I, like if you, oh gosh, guys, I lost it. <laughs> I know I was going to say something else about journaling, but I completely lost it. So. <laughs> All right, Cece is coming back. Sorry, he's like, I want to sleep. Can I no. sleep on you? I'm like, no, you can't sleep Aww. on me. I'm doing the podcast, remember? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what I sleep. said when you walked away. I was like, cute Caleb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he is so cute. But he he's is. a handful. Oh yes. My gosh, he's a handful. Yes. <laughs> you know, isn't he's, it funny um, how they have different personalities? Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. So, but thank you for that. I'm going to try to be more You're mindful too girl. about journaling about, yeah. Yeah. But I am feeling a little anxiety, but I've been having, okay. I know I kind of opened up this <laughs> episode. Pretty Your last episode. Like, no, this episode. Oh. I'm like, yeah. Oh, I'm this episode. Anxiety. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know me, girl. I tell all my little bees. <laughs> I've been experiencing it a lot the, the last couple of weeks and I, yeah. well, I'm always anxious, but I've been yeah. more, like I said, mindful of it. And I feel like it's because my mom's death dated yeah. and then it's like some other stuff and I'm just like, just more mindful. And I don't think yeah. I told you, did I tell you I had a panic attack the other day? No. Yes. Oh my what gosh. happened? So, and that's the thing nothing i just yeah. was um, you were just like overwhelmed and your anxiety just exploded. i guess it just like i was in the kitchen i was washing out a cup and mm -hmm. i just felt like this tightness in my chest and i'm like so you know instantly i'm like oh my god i'm having a heart attack yeah but then i remember like it came to my memory like I've been through this before, you know, yeah. like because yeah. I had a panic attack before, before, and I thought it was a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And my doctor, I called, and they were like, uh, "Go to the emergency room." And I went. They said, "No, you just had a panic attack." Yeah. So I was like, "Oh, so it was just the tightness in my chest and the anxiety. It's like, like you want to hyperventilate, but it's like I don't know, like something is yeah. about to happen, like that." That yeah. feeling of uneasy. Like impending doom. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I just kind of breathed through it and was like, oh. yeah. And then it went away after like 10 minutes. And I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That And that's actually what prompted me the next day to uh, reach out to a, a psychiatrist. Yeah. yeah. Um, get scheduled. So, yeah. 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 
Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing with us. Absolutely. You know what? You um, mentioning your panic attack automatically Mm -hmm. made me think of the last time I had a panic attack. Um, mm-hmm. I don't want to get into it because oh, yeah. you know, it's yeah, very yeah. emotional, but you know, with Kai and that mm-hmm. whole situation. Yeah. And I remember it was weird. It was almost like some, like somebody was like squeezing my lungs together and I couldn't like breathe or catch my breath. And I was just like, <sighs> like I, no matter what I did, I just felt like I couldn't breathe. And it was scary. It was really scary because on top of like what the doctors told me and me trying to catch my breath, girl, I was like, I thought I was going to die right there. I legit thought I was going to die right there. Uh Oh, did you freeze? Is, uh Oh yeah, we lost her. So I will be right back. I'm going to go get her back. That was funny, y'all. So we're actually back and we had um, a little bit of technical difficulties, but we are mm-hmm. back. But what was hilarious, so we're backstage and while we start chopping it up, like, <laughs> I'm like wait a minute, we can... Yeah. Let's talk about this hit record. <laughs> right, yes. That's why yeah. I'm saying like, this is just us. Like we just mm-hmm. vibe so good together. I like agree. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I, agree. I agree. Well, to bring up what we were talking about, we were talking about like nails because, well, so I'm not the professional. Miss Ma'am, Miss Ma'am is the professional. No, you are. You taught me. <laughs> so much about nails i'm like hair focused but when it came to nails yeah I'm like, oh, you are I'm not a doing great hairstylist. <laughs> so you know it's funny too because it took me oh i was just going through like it wasn't specifically looking for the pictures when i first started but you know mm-hmm. i was just going back in my phone because mm-hmm. i like to go back and look at the kids yeah, and yeah. <laughs> me too i got so many yeah. pictures and like my yeah. google photos and my dropbox and oh stuff. my gosh yeah. you want to know something mm-hmm. hold on excuse me but you want to know or um the i got a google alert this morning and it was like a collage of dj and i was just like Aww, yeah. i like just remember being that first time mom mm-hmm. and yeah it's such a new feeling because it's something you've never experienced yeah, before. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. And yeah. It's like, how do you love somebody this much? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yes. such a pure feeling. Like, it oh, is. I remember, yes, so I remember holding the Amaya and just like, oh, I just want to just, yes. like, you want to know, something? like, put your body inside of mine yeah. and never let you. Oh, know. my gosh. Yes. <laughs> And you want to know what is insane? So (laughs) after I had DJ, so I had a C-section. So I, it had been probably, he was like an hour old the first time Mm -hmm. I could like hold him. And so like the whole time, like Des is doing skin to skin. It's great. Uh So then by the time I was like, because I'm still in like recovery, I believe, but they let me hold the baby while they pushed the bed to my room. And I was like, ah, but I remember- when the when does for no the nurse took him from does and then swaddled him and then gave him to me yeah. and i remember holding him for the first time and girl cuz even though he was um 7 pounds 14 ounces mm-hmm. he felt so, so light yeah they do like, so you think like fragile seven pounds. yes yes and you think like 7 pounds like think about a 5 pound bag of potatoes like, right so, right it's like, heavy oh, Pick it up, yeah. Like, oh, this is, yeah, this got some yes. weight to it. Oh my god, yeah. DJ felt like a cloud. But yeah. when I had that bowling ball, Kai, he was same nine pounds two ounces. Girl, girl, yeah, same <laughs> for Judah with me. I was like, oh yeah. my god, this baby is yeah. <laughs> Judah was eight pounds twelve ounces. Ooh, so he was almost a, a now baby. baby. He was so chunky, chunky. baby. Oh yeah. my goodness, him and you Kai know, both chunks. Yes, yes. <laughs> No, do you remember when Kai made Judah mad? Oh, yeah. That was so cute. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> he harped on that for like two months. I was like, get over it. 
Kai's like, hi, Judah. He's like, mm. right, like, I'm like, say hi, you being me. me. <laughs> And Meanwhile, I Kai, I think so too, but Kai, my idiot, he's just like <laughs> oblivious, like, oh, hi, Judah, oh, yeah, like, mom, look at this what? robot, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think that's how it should be, Judah should have got over it, but <laughs> maybe he gets some of that from me, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, like, are you a grudge holder? I am, and I'm yeah. trying to get better at it, just like, yeah. Um, this little kid was playing outside with the boys, with the older yeah. boys. And I remember him and Nehemiah like got got into some altercations like last yeah. school year. So now I'm like, why is he in our yard? Yeah. <laughs> and I feel bad saying it, but because they're kids and they fight yeah. and they make up and stuff. And I'm like, Nehemiah, are you okay with him being around? And he's like, Yeah, we're friends now. And I was just like, mm. Yeah. Like you know, like, I don't like it. You know, well, of course that I is... didn't tell that to him or let him yeah, feel of any course. kind of way. Right. You know, I show love, right. but yeah. You know, that is actually a really good lesson for me to keep in mind mm -hmm. since some people yeah. are going to school. Yes, yeah. We still can't believe it, but bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> Y'all gotta go. Bye. I can't. I can't. It's too much. It's yeah. too much. I'm yes. the thought of homeschooling Kai with the mm -mm, nope. Goodbye. I'm scarred and it hasn't even happened. So that's oh why Kai. Well, that's back. because you work with him now, you know, with like yes. pre-K stuff and getting yeah. him ready. He's yeah. so smart. So Thank he's gonna you. thrive. He's gonna be good. They're probably gonna put yeah, him in home. Um, in what like you, the what little gifted, gifted classes. classes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That would be good for him too, because honestly, I think a lot of the behaviors, especially now that I'm learning and I, nowhere near you, ma'am, but learning psychology from a, this is what my yeah. kids therapists tell me. Right. Basically, yeah. I, I see he gets bored. He gets mm -hmm. bored, and then once oh, he gets yeah. bored, he's like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, yeah, you know what that I mean? That was Elijah. Yeah. That was Elijah yeah. in kindergarten. He was yeah. bored, and he was getting in trouble a lot. And even the teacher mm -hmm. was like, I think we're going to consider, like, promoting him to first grade. But yeah. it never happened because I yeah. think they thought about his behavior. He was too immature behavior-wise. Yeah. So yeah. they wanted him to, like, you know, complete kindergarten and stuff. Yeah. But he was bored a lot through like kindergarten to like second grade yeah. they always was um even the teacher was giving him separate work from what the class was working on like more yeah. like the upcoming projects that they would be working on the stuff he was doing yeah. because when he was bored then it was like well i'm bored and i want attention and right. whether yeah. good or bad yeah. attention i just want attention you know yep so, absolutely yeah. so you I know what isn't it crazy it. how like when kids want attention like you would think and it, of course I'm coming from like the adult brain well allegedly the adult brain <laughs> I think I can be very immature sometimes too and not even like in a mean immature way like yeah, oh my yeah. god like I'm gonna but in like a goofy way because mm -hmm. I I completely do not take myself seriously so like I'm the one like if I were to fall in public especially so I remember I fell up the hospital stairs I was mm -hmm. embarrassed but mm -hmm. now that I have like all this confidence yeah I would definitely just laugh at myself like yeah. cracking yeah. up yeah. Laughing. <laughs> same same with me I was like oh my god <laughs> Right. And I find myself doing that in public, like laughing or being quirky yeah. and stuff. And then I'll be yeah. like, oh my God, why did I do that? Like, I'll keep up. <laughs> but I'm like, whatever. I don't care. I ain't going to see these yeah. people again. You exactly. Know? <laughs> exactly. You know yeah. what? Oh my gosh. I don't know why this just like reminded me, but. So, um, just to kind of let everybody mm -hmm. update everybody. So, y'all, I started at the horse stable. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yes, that's oh, so good. Thank you, that girl. Is awesome. Thank You're welcome. You. I'm so proud of you, too. You so I really much. am. And I know I told you that already, but I am. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, you, the courage, you know, you had. Girl. In spite girl. of the fear and anxiety you yeah. still put through, you know, yeah. and you, you went and that's amazing. I did. And you know what? Speaking of like that fear, because I was, remember I talked to you like before I left mm -hmm. and I'm like, you know, I, 
thought about it like for a split second, like, okay, you know what? No one's going to miss you. It's not like, you know, they mm-hmm. remember you, blah, 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 blah. But then I was like, no, no, Tiff, let's go. So mm-hmm. even driving there, I was nervous when I pulled yeah. into like the parking spot. I kind of sat there for a few seconds because I was like super nervous. But then I was like, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it. So mm-hmm. I like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and like walked in there and I had like the most confidence, like, ever for me because yes. I am a very insecure person but I'm starting to like come into my own I'm starting to mm-hmm. like figure out not only who I am but what I want to like present to the world and I'm I yes. feel like I finally figured out how to get my outside to represent my inside and yeah I'm just oh like God. happy so I want to like yeah. give my extra time back like if I have a couple hours in a day like yes Yes. I want to volunteer you know what I mean yeah I love that what you said your outside to match your inside I feel like I'm still on that journey um because it's a it's a bit scary to just be like this is me you know like it is yes Especially when you grow up with like suppressing a lot of who you are and your identity and stuff. That part, and then you're girl. finally trying to break through. It's like, you know, it's like, oh, and that you part. have to remind yourself who cares what they think? Who cares what they Absolutely. think? Who cares? What they think? Absolutely. So Absolutely. I, I had an episode this past week, like yeah. on my IG stories, I was posting like me in a car, just mm-hmm. vibing to music, singing and stuff. And it was yeah. just me. I was just being yeah. me. And then yeah. I get a message from someone that, um, mm-hmm. someone I love a lot, a family mm-hmm. member, but it was basically, um, a podcast where they mm-hmm. were talking about Beyonce music being demonic and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay, I just hearted it. And then, you know, she was like, you know, I'm gonna get you every time about Beyonce. And then I just laughed, like did a yeah. live reaction yeah. to it. But yeah. then it made me feel insecure about my videos that I posted because mm-hmm. it was like, I shouldn't have posted that. I should yeah. like reserve like who I am. So then I went and I took down a lot of my like, stories and then yeah. I just started posting in my close friends but yeah. then it was like why like I felt like now I'm doing it again I'm back yeah. stepping. Yeah. like I'm trying to hide who I am because of yeah. what other people think yeah so I don't know exactly where I was going with this but that just <laughs> it's okay girl this is the yeah. um, stay at home mom ADHD yeah. podcast ma'am <laughs> Right. But that just reminded me of that. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm glad that you're able because you said you were matching your outside with your inside. And I'm yeah. so happy and so proud of you that you Thank had that you. breakthrough and that you're doing yeah. that. And I'm just praying and wishing the same thing for me completely. A hundred percent. You know, like, Absolutely. I know in some areas I am like, OK, I see. Yeah. see but yeah. I'm still trying to, you know. Absolutely. You're, you're trying to come into your own. You're trying to come into your own. Yes. You know what? Because I always used to make the mistake of comparing my journey to someone Mm -hmm. else's, but so nine times out of 10, because we're all up at different steps, right? We're all yeah. on different Sorry. like lengths. It's okay, girl. We're all at like different lengths of where mm-hmm. we go and how far we've come. And yeah. I used to get stuck in that hole because you'll see somebody who presents themselves as like being Zen and holistic, which is, you know, what I'm stri- striving to be. And I want to mm-hmm. learn about like herbalism and all that stuff. But, but what I, what I learned and what I remember whenever I see someone on, especially like on social media and I'm like, man, like, I want that for me. You know what I'm saying? And Mm -hmm. I learned that everyone has a journey and everyone's, everyone's journey is different. So I started thinking about it in the um, vein of, you know, a journey of a thousand miles started with one step. So I need to Mm -hmm. take the steps to achieve what it is that I want. And 
that even reminds me. So we were DJ head therapy and mm -hmm. we were already kind of close. And you remember that town that I told you about where when I mm -hmm. was getting my license renewed and I was just like, you yeah, know, looking yeah. around, I'm like, oh, this is gorge. Mm -hmm. But since I was driving through there, I found that center, that nature center. And yeah, oh my gosh. So I took DJ yesterday and it was on a whim. It was on a whim after therapy. I was like, DJ, do you want to go look at some animals? And he's like, yeah, he mm -hmm. got like really excited. So I called um, Des and I was like, hey, you know, just to kind of run it by him and check it with him. And so he's like, yeah, absolutely. I think it would be good. And so we had such a good time and yeah. craziness with yeah. the woman at the front desk because it just so happened right. through our conversation. I found out that her daughter, who I met at the horse stable, mm -hmm. <laughs> And I was just like, yes, like, that's so world. ironic. It's such a small yes. world. Yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. So no, it was like a really good time. And normally, especially by myself, because I always feel safest in public with Des. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. by myself I'm with my child, which also makes me feel mm -hmm. vulnerable. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want anything to happen to him. Yeah. But he had such a good yeah. time in that Really went by myself and I was so proud of myself yes. so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm taking every yeah. chance I can at whatever it is that crosses my mind mm -hmm. <laughs> yes that's yes. good that's amazing <laughs> Thank you. Thank that's you, like Anna. um when you get to a certain stage in life it's like yeah you can either have regrets of the I should have been with us or yes. you can be proactive and be like, I'm going to do like what you said, everything that comes to mind, everything I've always wanted to do or, you know, yes. so that when you get older, you don't have those regrets. Like, right. oh, I should have went to acting school or I should have, you know, indulged yeah. in whatever. But yeah, yeah, I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. Thank you. That is so Thank amazing. You. You're welcome. Um, Thank so you so alone. much. Oh, and you know what? <laughs> Honestly, like I feel like we, I feel like I wish we lived closer because mm -hmm. you know, I think you would enjoy a lot of this stuff too. But yeah. there's also other things like on your your um I area. Know. You know I mean? Like the metro park that you showed me. Like I knew it yes. was there, but I didn't yeah. know how vast it was and like yeah like we went back in the woods i'm like yeah we did <laughs> like yeah it was nice it was really it nice was. so i feel like i'm just so oblivious to a lot of the little pockets right. of peace <laughs> yes but you yeah. want to know something and you know you just said like oh i'm oblivious i was too at, yeah. at some point but i'm not gonna lie to you i would just jump in my car and just drive, just drive. so i found all yeah. these little enclaves and super mm. cool oh there is another place that yeah. I want to take you to, and I think you're gonna love it. Uh -huh. and is it on it my has, side? It's on your side. It's on your <laughs> side. So you are going to love it. So we're gonna set that up. But okay, yes, yeah, and I just remembered because I would just sit and drive. I would sit and drive. Yeah. And plus, I was in photography school at the time, so mm -hmm. I always found places because I wanted to take, you know, different yeah. pictures. You know, so right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, now I'm excited. We got to do that soon, and I'm excited because the weather yeah. is starting to warm up and stuff, so we can go out. You know, yes. into nature more so yeah yes. <laughs> you know what so when excited. you told me about like what you did like going to the lake and just kind of like mm -hmm. sitting and you know I that inspired me for real yeah, like really? for real for real yeah. Yes. yeah yeah that's my safe haven I guess I could yeah. say like I'll go to the lake I'll take a book or my journal yeah. or anything and just sit and I'll just look out in the water um mm -hmm. I try to go early because when it starts to get like towards the sunset, the crowd yeah. comes because everybody want to watch the sunset. And the stuff. sunset, but, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I love the lake. It's so peaceful. I just look out on the water and just imagine like life out there. Like, you know, yeah. like I know, I know yeah. that's Canada across there. So I try to imagine like, what are they doing? Who are they? Yeah. With? I don't know. Yeah. My, my, my imagination just... <laughs> 
I was just like, girl, you no, like I you love that. I yeah. love that way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Listen, like mm -hmm. you're thinking outside of the box. Like who wants to be a mm -hmm. stiff like everyone else? Like, right. no, I, I started embracing because I was always so scared of like being weird. And so mm -hmm. I started embracing like my weirdness. I have a mm -hmm. t-shirt that says um, it's like me comma weird with a question mark and then underneath it it says always period yeah <laughs> and every time i, I wear it, it yeah. every yes, time i no, wear it like somebody's like you let your like us freaks gotta stick together yeah. <laughs> for real yeah. i love it because i've always been a shy quiet like quirky person and i yeah. never have nothing in common with like my siblings like if you meet my hey. siblings you'll be like mm you sure you came from that family right. <laughs> like, the rest of my family i've always been that and they're like oh you yeah. know that's just sierra she's like i don't know yeah. i've just been different i'm like i've been into the arts and reading like yeah people, like i hate reading and i'm like oh okay good for you but i'll crack right. open the book and be by myself for oh, hours for hours and like you want yes to Mm -hmm. I feel like as we get older, our brains change anyway, but mm -hmm. I yeah, feel like yeah. as we get older, so are the things that we suffer from because I used to have like a, one of those foot chests. It looks like the mm -hmm. fake like treasure chests. Yeah, yeah. Full of Apple Scholastic books like Betty yes. Red Rice, yes. Wait Till yeah. Helen oh Comes, Judy, yes. Judy Bloom. And I oh, used to I love, love Judy to Bloom. read me too. Yes. Me too. But and the babysitter's club. The oh babysitter's club. Yes. Sweet Valley High. Yes. With the twins. Yes. Yes. Oh my yes, gosh. Girl. <laughs> Memories. Now I'm like, I yes. want my boys to go to the library. I'm like, pick out this oh, book. It's good. Bro. Like, yes. Oh my God. You know what? I'm not going to lie, especially because they like to read. You you wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. They would probably love those stories. Like, mm -hmm. Ghost Beneath Our mm -hmm. Feet was one of my favorite, but you know, I love the spooky. Yes. <laughs> But Ghost Beneath My yes, Feet yes. was like what I, I read that book like at least a thousand times. Oh, and Fear Street, mm -hmm. R.L. Stein, Goosebumps. Oh, my like, gosh. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> Goosebumps, Fear Street. Nehemiah actually read Fear Street. So and I was, yeah, so, I was like, where did you get that book Fear from? Street. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he likes Goosebumps, too. So, yes. Yeah. Oh, this yes. has inspired me to do a I'm telling you. with them. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. You know oh what? Gosh. So we finally like worked up the nerve to we haven't done it yet. We haven't pulled the trigger, but mm -hmm. we have finally worked up the nerve to take our brood to the library. <laughs> and I just hope they don't embarrass me. And I oh. hope that like they're not hanging from like the ceiling <laughs> or something. <laughs> yes, like oh god. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, they do have well, I don't know about that side of town i've been to one yeah. library over there and it was pretty yeah. nice and that's yeah. when nehemiah and elijah was younger too and they had like a kid section you but know, they do so have that here I, too yeah do and they have like, like toys little programs yes yeah yes mm -hmm. so, so even if you feel section? like they run bunctious you can be like okay yeah over there, you know go over yeah. there and play so yeah. when I walked in, there was like a, it was like a big, huge circular mat and it had yeah. like all the toys and everything. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm still nervous. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's no, why Doug yeah. and I decided to take them because I'll they can be sit and play. Oh, girl. I'd be nervous when I take them, especially Caleb, because he screams. Oh, my I was going <laughs> to say, especially Kai, especially yeah. when you tell him something he does not want to hear. Mm-hmm. Same, so. same with Caleb. So yeah. then a tantrum and then like the, no, and Caleb's a runner and I just be like, I just sit there and I know people be like, she not going to do nothing. I'd be like, oh my God, God. no, <laughs> exactly. Here's the, thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I... <laughs> I do be embarrassed, but mm -hmm. I don't really be embarrassed because like, for instance, DJ had um, a meltdown at the end of psychotherapy because, or his mm -hmm. ABA therapy because um, she wanted to do like a, she's, she's working on him. Uh, how am I trying to say this? Basically um, relating touch to in oh, his yeah. like cognitive, yeah. like touch, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So they were doing like the high five. So she's like, okay, touch the five. And he was, you know, in one of his moods where yeah. he was being difficult. 
both didn't want to work. And she was like, okay. And she grabbed his hand and did the five. And then he did something that I am totally not proud of. And I, it was definitely a teaching moment, but he kind of whacked her on the arm and I am me- like mm. fired up. You hear me? I'm like, yeah. oh, baby. and she's like, uh, mm. and mm. she went ahead and like handled it. And what I liked about how she handled it yeah. was she was stern. She was stern because I'm yeah. guessing I'm not a psychologist, but she, I'm, I'm thinking she doesn't want to be nice about it or soft about it because he's yeah, not going to correlate gonna... that it was wrong. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's going to think it's okay. Yeah. So she was stern with him, but she was very, um, she was very compassionate because she understands mm-hmm. like is, you know, my, like where he is, like he is on the yeah. spectrum of everything. Right. But girl, I was Hot. I know. Oh, I know you were. Oh, I know. I wanted to throw <laughs> him through the wall. Like, David Jacob. Oh, well, <laughs> I wanted to take him by his yeah. long head and throw him through a wall. <laughs> no, I would have been upset you know, too. Okay, like he is. Like I'm not one of those yeah. parents that are like, oh my god, my perfect little aunt. No, fuck that. I'm gonna take him by his long ass head <laughs> and throw him into a wall. Okay, I was so mad, but. <laughs> I would have been bad too, though. I would have been pissed. I was yeah. so bad. And because then, you know better than that. You know yeah. you know better. And then decided to double down as we're walking out of the lobby in mm. a car, into the car. And I was just like, but you want to know something? So mm-hmm. I did something. Oh, did I do it again? I did. <laughs> I, um, I realized something with me, like I'm learning how to cope with like my anger and my frustration mm-hmm. and how I react because when she stopped me and was like, mm-hmm. nope, That's I, good. Yeah. I literally sat there, I closed my eyes and I started uh-huh. box breathing because I was getting hot. Like, like she teaches yeah. DJ about the anger emotion. I felt that volcano inside. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah. I needed to like calm myself because I also know my child. So it was important. Important right. for me to calm myself because I know he was going to act a complete ass when we were leaving <laughs> out. I know him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Because it would have been, like, it would have escalated and then it yes. would have took a minute to come back down. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Aww. So, you well, know, I'm just glad. a lot of tears driving home. Yeah. But I was oh, even yeah, calm in course. the car. I was even calm mm-hmm. in the car. So, yeah. Yeah. That's good. And I Thank think you. like he probably fed off your calmness and eventually, you know, yes, he, he honestly, leveled out. Girl, look at you putting on your psycho psychologist hat. That's exactly yeah. oh. <laughs> what she said yeah. he was doing. Like what he does, he, because like, let's just say, yeah. you know, he has a problem with like hitting Kai. So we're telling him in the past we'd be like you know don't hit Kai don't hit Kai don't get hit Kai and then he does like oh but he's laughing at blah and then we're yelling at him like don't hit Kai mm-hmm. but now mm-hmm. what we're learning is he's gonna feed off that energy so mm-hmm. if we're upset yelling at him and plus you know it's it, yep. sometimes both of us fussing so we're doubling doubling on him which I'm sure makes him Yes, yeah, so absolutely. And I think that is another mm-hmm. thing that for me, because I like the first few mm-hmm. years, I was completely oblivious to the fact that he could have been on the spectrum. I literally felt like he was just quirky because like, look at me. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, he's going to grow out of it. And yeah. he just never did. And he just no, never did. Yeah. But it took me years, years and years. Right. And then he was just now diagnosed at eight years old. But having that diagnosis, doing the research, being in these groups, the th- different therapies that he's getting, um, I'm learning mm-hmm. a lot uh, on like, it's like, yeah, like he's yeah. learning a lot and this is doing a lot for, for him. But I also feel like it's doing a lot for yeah. me. It's making me a better mom. It's making me a better person, like on the inside, because like you were talking about masking earlier. Oh, I used to do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Like I'm yeah. angry, sad, hurt on the inside, but, and then I blow up. Right. And Whoever gets oh, it, because it's never that person's fault. When you blow up on somebody, nine times out of ten, right. it's never that person's it's fault. Just, you know, 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just the last drop in the bucket. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I do that. Uh, um, even my therapist was like, do you ever like get angry or yeah. like, cause I, for some reason for whatever childhood experience I've had, I've learned to just, this is me. Yeah. I'm happy. You, are you excited? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. And it's yeah. like, it takes a lot for me to be like comfortable enough to show yeah. that emotion to, yeah. to people. But I do want to um, go back to um, the way that DJ was feeling and stuff. Yeah. I feel that I do that a lot with Nehemiah. Like I'm always yeah. like Nehemiah and I'm attacking yeah. and you know, like, and yeah. I, I can see him like get defensive and then he's like, built up and it's like it takes so long to come back down so i'm yeah. trying to be more mindful of he's that. so excited like, be more mindful yeah. of that like mm -hmm. yeah that yeah. my emotions he kind of like bounce off of how i'm reacting yeah. and feeling even if i just raise my voice he automatically think he's in trouble and i'm like you're not in trouble and he's yes. like, oh well why did yes. you call my name like that and i'm like because i yeah. wanted you to hear me and he's like but why yeah. why did you call me so loud like you am i in trouble mm -hmm. and i have to be like you're not in trouble nehemiah you know yeah. i just said it loud enough for you to hear me so right i'll be trying to be more mindful like okay you know because it, yeah. It's a different type of processing. And I also wanted to say when she it took is. DJ hand and like did the high five, it probably yeah. was for a neurotypical kid. It's probably like, hey, don't touch my hand. Yeah. Like that's a boundary right. because people right. on the spectrum, touch is a very sensitive thing. Like, oh, don't touch. you know, they don't like touch. Yeah. So you touched yeah. my hand and you did it. So I can't express to you that you just crossed the boundary of mine. So now. Yeah. You know, instead of saying, hey, don't touch me or no, I don't like that. Yeah. I'm going to hit you because, you know, yeah. out of reaction. So, yeah. Absolutely. Because that's, I noticed that about Nehemiah. He, he's a hitter. Yeah. He's a hitter. Like, yeah. even now at 14, he'll be 15. I still have to say, it's not okay to hit. Like, yeah. he'll um say, well, he laughed. Come I'm on. sorry, people. People can laugh, Nehemiah. Yeah. Or, well, he called me boy. And I'm like, yeah. okay, well, you still can't hit. It's not okay. Yeah. Like, you have to yeah. express that. And he was like, well, I tell yeah. him all the time I don't like that. And sorry. That's Judah okay. Came in here. I'm like, don't wake them up. <laughs> but, you know, I have to reiterate what I'm like, you yeah. cannot hit. But he doesn't know how to really verbalize and you know yeah. express Abs my boundaries. You know what? Stuff. Thank yeah. you for bringing that up because mm -hmm. right now the fixation for DJ is Kai hit me, and then it starts a host of all like all kinds of issues, and mm -hmm. you know he's mm -hmm. uh, excited or uh, when I say aggressive, he's not like trying to fight or anything like that but he's right. just like you know he'll like ru run up to Kai and act like he's gonna like actually no what he does is he'll run up to Kai and like hug him like really hard and it's like mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. like don't do that yeah and yeah I need to remember you know this is but does also try to tell like he try every time he gets a chance he tries to get this lesson to DJ like hey listen people are gonna laugh at you you can't hit yeah. people you can't get mad. You can't yeah. start yelling at people. And a lot mm -hmm. of times, Kai's like laughing at Roblox or whatever. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely a lesson for yeah. all of us when they have those um, episodes, you know? Yeah, I'm still trying to teach that to uh, Nehemiah. Like, you cannot hit. Yeah. People can say, you know, unfortunately, yeah. people can, it's their mouth. They can say and do what they it want is. to do. They you have to learn to what they want, yeah. ignore and express your boundaries Absolutely. and just, you <laughs> we know, have a little remove mystery. yourself. We're, yeah. yeah. We're, um, we're teaching Nehemiah to go to the next room. If you feel yourself getting angry, yeah. you know, step out, come and get me because yeah. they do. They they will pick with him, you know, on the low and try to do it to where it's like, oh, he's just tripping. He's acting crazy. But yeah. no, you know his buttons to push. <laughs> right. Right. You know, I when I said that 
sometimes Urkai don't even laugh at him. He's laughing at like Roblox. So I don't know if I believe that fully because a lot of times the laugh that Kai has so sometimes Kai's absolutely not paying attention and he's just laughing at something else. But there is sometimes where the laugh, the giggle will sound mm -hmm. a little maniacal, you know, like a, a razzle dazzle of tease, you know, <laughs> you know I mean? that he's going to react. So yeah. it's like, yeah, trying to just get that reaction out of DJ. Yeah. Elijah Such does the same thing. Elijah Such does the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, does he like? Yeah, like for example, I said Elijah, can you give Nehemiah some peach cobbler? Like, and I know Nehemiah, he he's his mm, thoughts is I'm the older brother, like I should do it myself. But like I told him, like yeah. you overdo it, like his plate yeah. would be like pow, like child, or whatever. yeah, yes. Mm. And then he'll be like, what? I just got my, and then waste the food or whatever. So I say, Elijah, can you just like either stand there next to him or you you do it for him? Elijah's like, I'll yeah. do it. So he gives him like two tablespoons of peach gobbler. So Nehemiah <laughs> like, oh my gosh, why would you do it? Yeah. yeah. Like he's hyperventilating. So then by the time somebody walks in the kitchen, Elijah then hurry up and put a bunch on the plate. Like, and he's like, on I there. gave him yeah. like this. Yeah. So then Nehemiah's like, no, no, you didn't. So now it's looking like, what is going on? Yeah. So it's just little things like that. They do yeah. to like pick, <laughs> to pick with each other, but mostly with Nehemiah. Yeah. So sorry. Yeah. I'm like, it's the baby. Oh, no, that's okay. I heard her moving. Yeah. But no, yeah. I, listen, we're all moms. We get it, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I so, want to you you have mentioned something and I can't remember what it was. Hopefully it'll come back. Oh, I'm sorry, point. girl. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Have you I'm been sorry. watching anything? Um, like, have you been watching no, really. into Unwind? No. no I, you know not me, really. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. You're a reality. <laughs> you like reality oh, TV and stuff. I do. And, uh, I true do. Crime. I, yes. Yes. I don't know. Oh, you know, I've been, I have been watching, um, I like to watch, uh, Soft White Underbelly on YouTube. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. So Mark I, Lee, I, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I've been binging it. I, I watch his In Memory of video and I was so sad because I remember like majority of those yeah. uh, people. Yeah. That he I was going to mention the girl. Mm -hmm. I can't remember her name, but you know, everybody thought like she was getting better. She even put on put on a lot of weight, and I'm not saying that like in a mean oh, way. Oh, was, was she a black girl? Yeah, girl. the black girl who died. Yeah, yeah, she was addicted yeah. to uh, crack, and and it brought out schizophrenia in her. Yes. Yep. Are you talking about her? Yeah, because yeah. she was so yeah. like, I, she just sat on my mind a lot. Like, you know, I thought Me about too. her a lot, and prayed about yeah. her a lot, and then when I seen her on there, I was like, oh. I think her name was yeah. Amanda. Because I was Amanda, like, Amanda. Amanda, that's her name. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was, was so many so people. hurt when I found out mm -hmm. Amanda died. But you know, he's in a little bit of um, controversy. I've seen that. Like, they're yeah. trying to say, like, he'd be scamming and stuff. I'm like, hmm. yeah. Allegedly. Like, I like to allegedly. use that word right. allegedly. Like, we well, never know. Exactly. Like we don't know him. It could be true. We don't know him. It could be false. Like, mm -hmm. you yeah, know, yeah, but, yeah. I just, but, I was like, because when I saw it, I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't read it, so I don't know like the mm -hmm. specifics of it. But I do know it was like he's, you know, scamming people, getting money mm -hmm. for the, for for them not giving it to him. And I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I did I see like a few headlines on YouTube. I didn't click it, but I yeah. clicked him it was a short of him talking on his page about um him not working with certain individuals that claim he scammed them because yeah he do give them the money and he was like i yeah. just cashed out all of their gofundme and then i closed the gofundme i i, I yeah. gave them the money i closed it i don't want to work with them no more so I was yeah like, oh, okay and then i just went to the That's next fair. you know video yeah. and kept watching because i do like their stories actually yeah. um it was a guy he interviewed named Leviticus, and he said, mm -hmm. my name is Leviticus, but my family and friends call me Levi. 
And I instantly fell in love with the name. I love Yeah, I was going to say. Yes. I, oh, so that's Lee. Caleb's middle. Yeah, that's Caleb's middle name. Because I was like, I didn't have a middle name for Caleb. And when he said yeah. that, I was like, oh. I was like, Levi, I love it. Aww. So Caleb is Caleb Levi. So oh that's where God. he got his middle name from. Yes. I and love I love the man, his personality. He talked, yeah. you know, of course he had some trauma and some, yeah. um, he was an addict and stuff, but yeah. I just see the good in everybody. And I was like, I you can tell, tell he's you. a sweet soul. And I was yes. like, I love that name. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm going to mm. definitely tell you, um, I feel like the cycle of addiction is a mm -hmm. thing because I feel mm -hmm. like people don't understand addicts and yeah. I feel yeah. like people don't understand the disease. I feel like, yes. you know, people, when you think about like an addict, you, you're like, oh my God, that's just crackhead Betty. Like, oh my God, that's just right. drunk Zoe. And, right. and in reality, it's like, okay, think of it this way. If you have mm -hmm. migraines what mm -hmm. do you do? You take your meds take for the migraine. Yeah. Well, if you have scars that you can't see because they're on the inside and yes. you're, you're traumatized or you yes. were assaulted or you're, you, you, yes. you don't want to cope with life, but you're not quite mm -hmm. suicidal, then what mm -hmm. you, you see what I'm saying? So like, I feel yeah, like self medicate. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. And I feel like people think that a lot of times addicts just want to party and get high when yeah, in reality no. they can't help it. We can't, as an alcoholic, I can't Like you said, help that we it. can't see. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then I Absolutely. think at one point it becomes to where I am self-medicating, but now it's yeah. to the point that I've done it so long that my body has adjusted to it. So yes. when I and try to not do it, yeah, yeah, I go through those withdrawals and i don't think yeah. people understand like that's painful to withdraw oh from i can that imagine medication. Mm -hmm. yeah it's like the flu imagine. times 10 like it's yeah. painful so now it's like i need it you know like yeah to, and you and you'll often hear an addict say to make me not sick I need yes, to drink, or I need I have, a hit yes. or something yes. because yes. i don't want to be sick so yes. i think People don't understand that. They just say, oh, yeah. it's just this person. But like like you said, oh, that's just crackhead Susie or whatever. Yep. But I do want to touch on what you said um, about the hidden pain because mm -hmm. I have a couple of family members, one that passed away from, from an overdose um, mm -hmm. recently. And then I have who nobody would have never expected would have yeah gone to drugs you know what i'm saying yeah. because yeah. of the life he lived very honorable right. very proud um but right. there's pain and there's hurt yeah. that we yes. don't see and a lot of times yeah. we don't know about yes um a yes. lot of people carry like molestation and different stuff yes. with them like to their yeah. graves because they're ashamed and yes. that can really eat people up um yeah when yeah. i think of my brother yeah. Um, he was an addict. He was a, started drinking alcohol at a very young age. On my yeah. father's side, so of did family, I. Like my father's side of family, the males are like really heavy into alcohol, like beer. Yeah. Um, my you know they say alcoholism can run in families. Yeah, it's hereditary. Yeah. Yeah. So my granddad used to make moonshine. So yeah. like my grandma too. <laughs> alcohol, yeah. Alcohol it was, was an there. alcoholic too that had to quit. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. so it was there. So when I see my brother, like he, mm -hmm. he dropped out of high school at like the 11th or 12th grade. Yeah. And then he started working at the factory that my uncle and um, my uncles worked at and stuff. So he got fired for drinking on the job. And then Ooh. I seen like, drinking became more like every time I seen him, he had a beer in his hand. Yeah. And then it went from that to, um, unfortunately he, he was smoking weed. Like people in my family smoke weed. Then unfortunately, like, like 90% of the world. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Um, he started doing crystal meth and mm -hmm. I knew it. And only like a couple of his friends knew. And mm -hmm. I would like try to encourage him and like, you know, um, yeah, like you're so you're so smart. Mm -hmm. You got so much potential. You're better than that and stuff. Like and unfortunately, mm -hmm, when he passed away, he was killed by a a, um, a driver, a hit and run accident. Um, they end up catching a man, 
And he got involuntary manslaughter because, or vehicle, vehicle, yeah, vehicle. Yeah. 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 Um, because my brother had drugs in his system. So their argument was, well, he was impaired crossing the street, jaywalking. So pretty much he could have did this to himself or whatever. So the man didn't get like, you know, um, like a long time, yeah. even though he left the scene of a crime. But exactly, who am I? And, <laughs> and his thing was he was out on probation, out on bail rather, because he had a domestic violence and child kidnapping and kidnapping his girlfriend. He had tied him up and beat him. And once she got free, she called the police and he got arrested oh, and was out on bail. Cool. And that happened. Good. I'm, I'm glad she. Yeah. You know, but that's what I'm saying. So this guy's like a menace to society, but yeah, because yeah. you know what I'm saying, like not fair mm -hmm. at all. I feel like yeah, he not fair. Could have been full. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. agree. Um, that's a whole nother story we can get into about yeah. the person in my family who was in charge of pushing that and decided yeah. not to. But um, I said all that to say, like, my brother was so quiet me and him were like yeah. like this and he was so shy and I don't know what he experienced because he was so quiet and reserved yeah. he never really expressed himself yeah. a lot and it's like I wonder a lot like what pain did he experience what, or hurt did he yeah. go through to make him go to alcohol and make him go you know that route of drugs and stuff like he yeah. chose to be homeless like over yeah being at home like literally no i'm going to walmart i'm gonna buy me a tent and i'm gonna live on the streets like and we yeah. was like what like no yeah. come home yeah. and he was like no he was like i got friends in the streets like you know like this they they like a family we we look out for each other like he wanted yeah and it's like i just think about like the pain yeah. and hurt that they must experience that pushes yeah. them away that make them feel like we don't understand them or get them or yes. you know like they're not deserving yeah. of our love so addiction is very very um complex it's not just it is huh. very complex huh. you a junkie okay you know it's yeah it's more and just it. i'm gonna just write you off yeah mm -hmm. yeah 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 and i think yeah. when we see people when we actually see people then we can help them better and they can feel yeah. like there is hope you know absolutely so, yeah. absolutely yeah yeah you know i um it kind of put me in the space so i used to watch like a lot of intervention and mm. I feel like Me the too. reason why I watched that show is because, like, mm -hmm. because you already know my favorite ones were the alcohol ones, you know. <laughs> yeah, I seen totally that. relate. Like, I hate to like, mm -hmm. but real. Like, I would click through yeah. and go through all the alcohol ones, and then I'll go back and watch mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> Yeah, no, I used to love intervention and I would watch it. And then if the kids walk in the room, I'll close out of it or whatever. Because yes, me and my and Elijah was yeah. little. Yeah. 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 I was I like, oh, yeah. I want that baby's exposed to right. drugs mm -hmm. and alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> right. But I used to be glued to it, like, oh, my goodness. Yes. You know? so, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, it that also is... reminds me, you know, I had to be very creative because I love horror movies. And mm -hmm. I never, the one thing I never realized from having DJ was the mm -hmm. fact that, like, when he was a baby, it was fine. But but when he started, like, understanding things and having, like, language, mm -hmm. like, it was highly inappropriate for me to watch a movie to where watch. someone gets their hand ripped off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same, so I had same. To curtail a lot of my good stuff. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. Same. So me, <laughs> Nemo, and Elijah used to watch uh, The Walking Dead all the time. Like when it I started, they were yes. So, yes. yes, they were so young. And now that I think about it, I'm like, should I have been watching that with them? <laughs> because now I said the other day, I said Elijah. He's like, yeah. I said there's a spinoff to The Walking Dead. It's called The yeah. Walking Survived or something. He was like, oh, we should watch it. I said, yeah. And then I'm yeah. like, this is crazy because <laughs> I got a picture of us, and they were like four and five, and we're like Aww. watching The Walking Dead, and I'm like, Aww. okay. <laughs> we 
wasn't, I, I don't know. They won that you creeped out. Were you? <laughs> Listen, I, no, I'm with you because, so you know how I love Lifetime movies. I know I'm like revealing my age right now, but I do. Like <laughs> me and my father-in-law, love we love Lifetime mm-hmm. movies, okay? Mm-hmm. But um, a lot of times, you know, you'll get like a murder scene and everything. Yeah. And Kai, he's always like, is that blood? And I'm like, it's pretend. <laughs> Pretend. Right, right. Or like yeah. DJ, especially DJ, he'll freak out. Even if it's like obviously fake, he'll go, Oh my God, what happened to that man? And it's like right, DJ, right. it's a lifetime movie. It's obviously <laughs> pretend. No one in this movie can act. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to tell that to Judah because he's yeah. he's in that stage where he's questioning stuff about mu- movies. Yes. Like he just realized that Tom Holland is not Spider Man. And he's like, But oh. can I just call him Spider Man? I'm like, Yeah, oh. Judah. Like he's <laughs> Like, why is Spider Man in this movie? Like, we were watching another yeah. movie. I'm like, so, yeah, I have to explain stuff like that. Like, Judah is fake, but yeah. it's this a lot to him, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Girl, I had to do that with Nemaya so for a long time. Yeah. I had to do that with Nemo for a long time. Like, yeah. I remember, uh, I think I told you, he thought, like, the. I forgot what they're called. The trails in the sky from the jets and planes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he thought that they were Iron Man, like, going. Oh, like, he was like, oh, look, he, mommy, like, Iron Man was here. Air. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, and he thought that what? up until, like, the sixth grade. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, the one thing that I noticed about autistic kids Mm-hmm. is the fact that their brains are so <clears throat> fabulous. So I remember DJ, he, so we were at, I had my appointment where I had to get my Vivitrol injection. Mm-hmm. And so while we're waiting on um, the nurse, I don't want to say her name, but I love you, Hicker hey. But <laughs> while we're waiting on her to come out, you know, DJ's like reading the signs and it said like, what the hospital like won't tolerate like you know those signs and yeah, one of the yeah. things were like verbal abuse tell me why my baby said mom how did you abuse a verb oh I was oh my like, god oh, that's so <laughs> right because okay, okay. <laughs> verbal <laughs> abuse i'm confused what? that's a, that's right. possible wow. right so of wow. course i had to like you know, teach him like, hey, well, buddy, the word verbal, you know, means like speaking. It's like sound, like someone's talking. Yes. And then I was like, you know, the wow. word verb, like, you know what a verb is. It's an ELA. Like, yeah. it's not the same. And he's like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, mom. <laughs> wow. That like, I would have never thought of that. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. And yeah, it's like little things he says think, like that all the time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What were you gonna say? I Boo? think that I was gonna say, you know what I think? I think that most of the world's geniuses was on the spectrum because Absolute, they think so yes. outside the box. Yes. Like yes, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I think like Bill Gates is on the spectrum. Oh, guess who's on the spectrum? Who? Quest love. Ooh. Wait, who is Quest Love? Now I feel bad because oh like, from the why y'all not in the? Oh, it's a hip hop group from like maybe the early two thousand. Oh wait, Roots? from the Roots. Yes, yes, ma'am. The drummer yeah. on the spectrum. I you would have never know known. That. But that's wow. probably why he's so fabulous on the drums. Right. I because I see a lot of Quest Love's oh, work yeah, because yeah. he works. Really- he makes appearances on oh, like Sesame Sumo. Street and like other kids yes. shows. So I see him all the time. But yes. yeah, he's on the spectrum. Yep. I absolutely. Don't know him. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. And yes. I feel like, yes, a lot of the geniuses and stuff. Because yep. when you read about how they describe themselves like introverted or quirky or, you know, like, and it's like, oh, okay. And some of the stuff yeah. like, how do you abuse a verb? Like that is amazing. <laughs> I would have never thought of that. Like, Me either. Right. Me either. And that it's is just, not even in my stratosphere so of thinking. Mm-hmm. Hey, mm-hmm. You, you know what? Speaking of wow. that, so remember I told you what his therapist said, which is now how I look at the world because at first I was like so scared because you know 
we're going through mm-hmm. this and he's like learning, but that's what the ABA therapy is for. Number one. But what she said, it, it's, it struck me. She goes, you know, they don't have to adjust to the world. The world has to adjust to them. Just to them. And I was I like, oh. yes. When she said it, I, I, I felt that in my soul. Cause I was like, yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. We already know cognitively about situations. So right. why are we making people who, you know, don't have complete executive functioning or whatever, why do we mm-hmm. have to make them fit to like our boxes? Right. Exactly. Boxes. You know what I mean? You, so. Exactly. You know, one of my psychology teachers at Cleveland State said something like yeah. that, but he, he goes, Western education is so different from the West, the rest yes. of the world. Yes. Uh, he was from Australia and he said, where I'm from, you have a child with ADHD or autism or something, that's just that kid. You work yeah. around them. He said, here, yeah. you, America make it so it's like, yes. oh, you got your medication. They yeah. got to sit down. Like, yep. why are you moving? Why are you, yep. know, like, here's a, a fidget spinner or something. And he's like, yes. Mm, no, we just let them do them. They're kids. We, yeah. we don't pressure them into conforming, into everybody else Mm -hmm. you want to know that's why it was so important for me to find a school that basically Mm -hmm. works with children on the spectrum because Mm -hmm. dj does need to go to school yeah i i feel like he i feel like I feel like some of his biggest, uh, I don't even want to call them issues, but challenges is because, mm-hmm. m- you know, they weren't socialized like typical children yeah. were because, you know, it's like homeschooling first, then COVID, then, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. they just weren't, they're, the, my kids are not socialized like typical children. So that's another reason why like Kai has to go to kinder because well, number one, mm-hmm. bah. And then number two, he needs to be <laughs> socialized. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I agree. And I understand. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. That's funny because I was like, Judah is going to get homeschooled because he, you know, he gets yeah. me such a hard time. And then yeah. I'm like, oh. yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna look into a different. A yeah, different I remember school. we had that conversation. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie; it was like once we started talking, and you know the conversation that we had. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Yeah, bye, Kai. Mm-hmm. Peace. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, so yeah. Just, um, yeah. Yes, and so you know what? Just, Being uh, a homeschool mom, like I under, and I, I'm actually for it. I am actually yeah. for it, but I, I also believe that, well, I mean, it's true. Every child is typical. So even if you could, even if you homeschooled the first two kids, that third one is probably like, yeah, mm-hmm. this isn't going to work for that child. And that's okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to try to force yeah. my square pegs into a round hole anymore. I'm not doing right. that. You yeah. Know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I agree. I definitely wouldn't be able to homeschool Caleb. I, yeah, oh, I'd be mad because his school only open on Monday through Thursday. I'd be like, oh, right. Like, do well, y'all really I, need a three-day weekend? <laughs> exactly. And girl, I can't believe I even considered homeschooling Kai, knowing <laughs> if you would have came over and you'd have been like, oh, what's Kai? where's Kai? And I'd have been like, I threw his ass on the roof. <laughs> Caleb is so so I don't know like they just so identical because yeah. <laughs> that's how Girl. Caleb like oh my God. and, and you just want to like yes <laughs> Caleb's in his face where he just asks so many questions I mean I'd be the point like if I hear you say Molly one more change. time um but why okay yeah. so what happened so can I get it but mommy, <laughs> mommy, look at this dance. And I'll be like, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to do homework. And he's like, okay, um, can I watch TV? Yes. Um, mommy, did you see? I'm like, Caleb. And he's like, yes. what? why are you say my and name? They don't like understand. Right? Yeah, I'm like, they don't nothing. understand when we're fussing at them because I'm not going to lie to you. Most of my annoyances is because they don't shut up. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> nine times mm-hmm. out of 10. It's oh because they don't shut their mouths yes. and it's like, it's shut like, up. Can you please just be quiet. Yes. I, I just need yes. a piece. I just need five minutes, five minutes. But yes. why? I'm like, 
because I just I'm just overwhelmed right now. I just need a break from you for five minutes, Kayla. Right. Okay. Uh, it's like, okay, mommy. And then two then minutes five seconds mommy, later. Like, yes. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. So yeah. Yeah. I want Girl. I'm, I can't homeschool him. Mm-mm. Girl. Mm-mm. I know. Like, we yeah, we no. just need that break. We just we j- and for the homeschool yes. mamas, like, trust me, I know where y'all at. And I know y'all got that one crazy one. I know y'all do. So mm-hmm. I feel for mm-hmm. you, mama. <laughs> you hope a lot. It's going to be all right. You're going to make it out. Yes. <laughs> you going to be all right. That just you reminded me. Right. Right. <laughs> we going to be all right. <laughs> that just reminded me when Nehemiah was younger. And I remember I had, like, some pennies. And I was, I'm going to teach him yeah. how to count. Because he yeah. didn't go to uh, daycare until he was, like, three three yeah. to, going into four and Elijah was two turning three yeah I don't know somewhere around there but yeah. I remember like saying one two three with the pennies yeah. and Nehemiah was uh his speech was delayed so yeah. I said now your turn and I remember getting frustrated because I thought it was just so simple because then Elijah, who was a year younger than him, said one, two, three. And I said, no. And I pushed the pennies back and I like moved his hands. And I'm like, not you. And I remember so vividly him like two, nine, like, and then I'm like, no, Nehemiah, listen to me. And I remember getting frustrated. I was a young mom and I was like, oh, you know what? Just never mind. I like swipe the pennies yeah. like after a while back into the bucket and i'm pretty sure he was like what the hell is wrong yeah with like mom? what's wrong with but, mom like, yeah, like, yeah but yeah i remember it being frustrated because i knew that he wasn't like grasping it and he yes. should have been yes. at that age like at least yeah. knowing how to say one two three you know like yeah. you know when yeah, he was like three no. turning four. I completely and I understand being so frustrated. Yeah. yeah. So you it's know, just things it, I look back on and it's like and you're like, like you know, oh, because I was gonna mm-hmm. say, like what really sealed the deal with me knowing and us does as well, knowing that you know something was up with Deej was after Kai was born and Kai was getting mm-hmm. older and he started like hitting those milestones. Yeah. Like it was yeah. nobody's yeah. business. And we're like, huh, like, mm. yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah. yeah. Same, yeah. same with Nehemiah and Elijah, yeah. you know, they're Irish twins. So they're like for two weeks in July, they're the same age. They have the same age. So, Aww, yeah. yeah. So they were like really close, you know, and growing yeah. up, but Elijah was like surpassing Nehemiah. And yeah. Was, like, wait, wait, yeah. what? And even now, people think that Elijah, because they're in the same grade, because Nehemiah got think he's older. in the first grade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They think uh, ne- Elijah's older Elijah's than Nehemiah. Older. And I say, no, Nehemiah's yeah. the oldest. And they be like, oh, I, I had yeah. no idea, clue. No idea, no clue, like, all the time. I'd have been like, like I never read about it. Dollar. Right. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah, people mistake that a lot. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. But. Yeah, he surpassed Nehemiah. And yeah. thinking about that, they are in the same grade because Nehemiah did get held back in the first grade. Yeah. They tried to hold him back in kindergarten. Um, and then I went to the like the meeting and I had to write a letter and they said, okay, we'll pass them. But then in first grade, they held them back and they said it was due to uh, maturity. He wasn't mature enough to go to the second grade. I don't yeah. know what maturity. I didn't even know that was a looks thing. like. That's what I was yeah. like. I didn't even know that was a thing, you know. But yeah, uh, but whatever then, they say it, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think it was more so like he didn't talk in class. The teacher mm-hmm. said he didn't talk, and then I said, "Nehemiah, why didn't you? Why don't you speak?" And he was like, "Cause we're not allowed to. We gotta raise our hand to talk, and I don't want to raise my hand, so I just don't talk." <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was like, Aww. oh, I said, no, you raise your hand for the answers. Yeah. You know, like he couldn't understand. Yeah. Like you can have group discussion and play. Yeah. Like, yeah, he played by himself. He always had like a piece of string or yeah. uh it was so weird. Like, I wanna like like this. Okay, this is a stick from an instant. He'll yeah. have something as small as this or a piece of string or fabric yeah. from something, and he'll go to school with it. Yeah, I pick him up from daycare. He still has that same string in his hand, like the yeah. whole day. Or he'll be yeah. in his pocket and he'll pull it out. And I'm like, 
it's just certain things like this yeah. that I, I look back on and I'm like, you know, I wish I would have yeah. stuck through with the testing when he was five. But nevertheless, we're here now. Right. We're, like, we're here now. And I, exactly. And I always yeah. got help, even though I didn't yeah. know, like, oh, it's this. I still speech therapy. Yeah. Um, he's been in speech therapy since he was in kindergarten. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. He, he's in the eighth grade now, still in speech yeah. therapy. Um, DJ has speech therapy just, in second. You know, he's behavioral a- therapy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I always kept them like in behavioral therapy and just yeah. different things. He got his IEP when he was in the first grade when they held them back. Yeah. Then they put him on the IEP plan and yeah. he's had it since then. So it's like, I always was on top of like stuff to help yeah. him like, yeah. progress and stuff, but it's just the, that diagnosis wasn't there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I beat myself up about it, but you know, you do be like, nope, nope we're here. We're, you yeah, know, not, absolutely. And we're going to be back to the now. Yeah. Like, you're right. Yep. You're right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Listen, girl, I'm not going to let you sit and regret nothing around me because, honey. Yeah. You ain't the only person. I ain't the only person. And we're not going to sit over mm-hmm. here. See, like, y'all, I'm going to just tell y'all, like, we keep it 100% real with each other. And mm-hmm. I feel like that is the beauty of, like, a friendship. Because I yes. feel like your friends, your friends are going to just let have and let have. Like, if mm-hmm. you're doing some fuck shit, like, your friends are going to let yeah. you know. Your acquaintances and, and and another thing too is your friends are going to be right there with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's true. When when you do like mention stuff like that, what do I say? I'll be like, girl, yeah. we not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, you do, <laughs> you do, because I'd be like, oh, I mean, you know, I try, and you're like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no. I'm like, yeah, you're right, yeah. you're right. You know who else does that? Um, Ooh. Ron does that a lot. If I'm talking to him, that's, and I'm yeah. like, no, we ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Yes. Like, no, I'm gonna stop you. You know what? And I'm like, what? We have to get like, me together real fast. <laughs> listen, that's exactly why we have to put together like a little dinner or something because I would mm-hmm. love to meet him face to face. I would totally oh, love yeah. to meet him face to face. Yeah, yeah. I think you two would click. You know, like, yeah. yeah. So, from what I know, yeah, I think you guys we will too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. ma'am. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, on that note, intelligent oh. one, but. Yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. I think I'm delayed a little bit, but oh, yes, we'll you? set something up. We'll set something up. Yes. I'm looking at the time. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, we um wanted to, we're trying to keep our time like concise and everything because like right now we have a little break from the kids and, I, mm-hmm. you know, we don't want to just like have one of them pop up because I'm not going to lie. I heard the door knock. So I know somebody, somebody is, is about to get on my nerves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably Miss Ma'am. She's probably like, "What's she doing?" Oh, honey, <laughs> honey, she don't give up. She, <laughs> she runs the household in her mind. She's like, she "This is me. No, this is no. my territory." She runs the household in reality. In We're reality. scared of her. <laughs> She's evil. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I know I get some glares from time to time. I'm like, oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, yes, her ma'am. side <laughs> eye is savage. Like she, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, yeah. We mm-hmm. we don't we don't mess with Miss Ma'am Macaul- Macaulay. <laughs> she she bought that life. She she want all the smoke all yeah. the time. <laughs> she do. <laughs> She girl, cute self. She's so cute. Thank you, girl. Well, okay, Thank you, girl. you're welcome. All right, guys. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we will see you guys next week. It was another amazing yes. show. Thank you so much, Bo. And you're yeah, welcome. we'll see you guys. You got any closing remarks? Um, no. I'll just see you guys next week. Be safe. Yeah. Be careful. Yes. You know, practice some mindfulness and journal because. Yes. I'm going to journal more this week. Yes. Thank you for that tip, Tiff. You and are yeah. so welcome. You're yeah. welcome. Oh, all thank right. you. <laughs> You're welcome. I know. It's like a little delay. That's yeah. all right. And I just want to leave you all with try something you've never done before. Just try oh, yeah. it. No matter okay. what it is, yeah. just try it. Just try it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. Let's all come back next week with something we did that we never done before. Yes, yes. yes. That is going to be so much fun. So yes, much fun. let's open with that. All yes. right, you guys. Love right. you so much. Love you guys. Bye.